3.0, the same as metaverse. What is metaverse? So, you know, the progress when people created internet, which was the first phase or internet 2.0, now we are talking of 3.0. Uh, earlier, it, it was only being used as a means of communication and between uh, different nodes and different computers that were connecting, connecting on them. Not much processing was happening. When web 2.0 came, then people started using a lot of computing power between the devices that you were using and in the cloud computing. Metaverse 3 is now topping it up with augmented reality, virtual reality, you know, your experience. So it says I could read on my system versus my experiencing what I'm doing on the system. So Metaverse is a mix of Web 3.0, which enables you, which gives you that environment. And Metaverse now creates, you know, economic activities on this internet, which is Web 3.0, to give you an experience of virtual reality, augmented reality, which is business savvy. Now, there are so many businesses which are emerging, which are going to use digital now, whether it is entertainment, whether it is education, whether it is gaming, whether it is financial sector. We recently heard of a country creating an embassy on Metaverse. People have started giving selling land parcels on Metaverse. Effectively, there's a very big economic utility. And there is also marketability attached to it and then there is a economics which is working out that you create an nft on it or you create a marketplace on it then you create a utility coin and utility coin has a value so i think the opportunities that are emerging so there is a real business case that's the most fundamental that uh, real business fundamental case gets superimposed with the need for investment the use cases that are coming in experience that people want and how the economies are going from so-called our physical environment to a digital environment. So there's a whole new digital economy which is emerging and metaverse represents that digital economy. We all have heard of e-commerce now. We, our life, e-commerce has become part and parcel of us. But you still order and you wait for goods to come. Imagine if the whole thing was happening in an environment where you could see where it is coming from, what you've selected. You can actually touch and feel and see, oh, this is what I'm buying. So imagine today too, for us selling a physical good, we dot the whole world with their stores. You can limit the stores and you can virtually experience those things, order and they get communicated to you. So you can imagine the cost of digital centralization is immense because places that you can't reach in next 10 years on digital economy, you can reach today.